Hey, gum people. Hey, buddy boy. Goes Mr. T. He's leaving because he heard that camera. Hey, buddy boy. <laughs> so, uh, man, we got a cold front here in uh, Texas. <laughs> it's like 40 out here. Hi, boy. I've been giving them some, uh, like sweet potatoes. So I just slice up a raw sweet potato and then they'll. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So, this is a gun video, it's not a horse video. So, I'm looking at, uh, I was researching kind of, I don't know how this popped up, but somewhere it was like a, uh, what do they call time capsule or something where you bury something in the ground, you put things in it, you bury it forever. And someone had a small one of these. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Home Depot and see what I got. So this two foot, this is a four incher. Uh, six inch is a little bit more expensive, not much, but if you go up to eight or 10 inch, man, the price goes through the roof. So this piece right here is four pieces. This tube cost me, it was already pre-cut at I think two feet and it cost me eight bucks. The end cap, I think was seven bucks. This end cap that, that has a screw that you slide on and glue, I think it was seven or eight bucks, and then this cap was seven or eight bucks. So the whole thing is about 35 bucks, so to speak. Uh, and then you, you can just screw this in. I always reverse screw my thing so they seat good. And then you could tighten this up and screw it, but, um, Instead of a time capsule, this is this is good for, um, not that I'm promoting anything illegal, because that would be illegal. But if you wanted to hide some valuables or something that you didn't want criminals or the government criminals to find, uh, this is a great little thing. Now, if you wanted to, if you were gonna put it down and not plan on using it unless it's emergency, you could just get these two end caps and just glue once you put your stuff in it, just glue it in the middle. Hi, buddy. Is that ignoring you? You want another sweet potato? <laughs> so, uh, but, and then if you just want to have a cap to where you can do it, you could also put some sealer on this cap when you screw it on and it wouldn't come off. Now, when you glue these, when you glue PVC, if you haven't worked with them, there's plenty of videos on it, you put the cleaner and then you put the glue. Um, I went ahead and just sanded down the edge to make a little bit of smooth so this thing would cap down and then hammered it with a rubber mallet. Same way with this and hammered it down to make sure I get a good seal. Because if you bury this, you don't want moisture or anything else getting in it. Um, so, I mean, it's a pretty easy idea. What can you put in here? Shit, it's, I mean, I just kind of shoved a few things in it. Buddy, don't you be in trouble. If you bang that gate, you see that gate's bent. So I just put like a little set of binoculars, put a little gun, load it, uh, put, some, put some extra mags, put a little hat, put a little gun cleaning solvent, a couple other mags, and a, oh I don't think I can get more in there. Well, <laughs> I got a little uh, shumag in there, <laughs> a scarf to tie around. I could put a holster or whatever. And I just, and you could put all this inside a plastic bag before you even put it in here. You could even line the whole thing with plastic and roll it on the outside, stuff it all in and roll the plastic, put an oxygen absorber. Uh, it's pretty stinking handy. Pretty easy to build. Uh, again, a little pricey, maybe 30, 35 bucks, but it's gonna last forever. You know, I crank this down really, really tight to where it doesn't come off. Bury it on the ground. It's going to keep the moisture. It's not going to rot. Now, you don't want to put it where it gets sun. Uh, you could even tie a string around it. Some guys are saying you tie a rope around here and here and slide on your back just to carry some waterproof stuff if you're uh, in the water or by the water because if it drops in, it'll float. But anyway, I figured I would uh, share that on my gun channel and uh, if you want to build one, like I said, uh, the six inch one would uh, allow you to put bigger things. I think if you go eight inch, but they want like 70 bucks for the tube at eight inches. There's one guy on eBay that sells the eight inch, uh, $3 a, uh, an inch. So you can figure out how, how long you want it. But then the end caps are like 30, 40 bucks, 50 bucks each. So 
you get in, but it's a, it's an easy way to get good long-term storage. Where you going, Mr. T? It's like I'm getting out of here talking on that damn camera. You're gonna make me work. Uh, so for easy storage, small storage, shit. You know, use your imagination. And if somebody's got some other ideas, you're gonna put a link or something in the videos. If the link doesn't show up, I'll approve it later because it goes into that uh suspected spam for my link. But anyway, uh, passing it on, a little survival, hidden, hide from the crooks. You got gold, money, you want to keep money, you know, out of the banks or something, bury it. Um, it's not gonna go away, and you know, if you die and move or forget about it, then somebody 50, 100 years from now will find it and be happy. All right, we'll end that there. Buddy, you're a good boy.